Hey guys, welcome back. Using a linear learner with SageMaker for regression, we're going to build a heart risk prediction model and deploy it on AWS SageMaker with a model default monitor, data capture configuration, as well as evaluate the deployed model. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the file path, you guys know. We're not going to drop any columns here. We are going to do a label encoder and fill in A. DF shape is 10 columns. Get execution rule. Name your prefix, whatever you want. Okay. Name your bucket name, whatever you want. Okay. X equals DF dot drop everything but risk which is the target y equals risk the target as type float 32 for both test train split with a size of 30 percent name your keys whatever you want upload to the file path Get image URI. Remember, the name of the algorithm is Linear Learner. Go to three session region name. This instance. SageMaker session equals SageMaker session. The shape is nine because we dropped one column, remember? So feature dim is nine. Predictor type regressor. Many bat size 180, 10. 22, absolute loss. Fit the channels, and we'll show you how the deployed model did. Did even better. Which is a little unusual. Okay. Now, data capture configuration. Remember to do this. The destination URI is your bucket name. Data capture prefix, which is that right there. Deploy at this instance. Data capture config equals. Okay. Import these. Result equals predict x test result. Remember, for inference, this is better. MP array, R in result. Hold on. Now we're going to predict Y test and predictions flatten. Actual and predicted. As you can see, it's not too far off. But let's look at the metrics. The MP square root, the R2 score, that's like 84%. Same thing with the explained variance score, which is a little more kinder usually. 84%. Now, this was not too good. This right here. Not too bad, though. That's an error, basically. Okay, now we're going to do a processing job. Remember, instance type. And then the file path, we can do the same one since there was no noms in there. The data frame was clean. And we didn't need to drop any columns, most, most importantly. Okay, there's your processing job. That takes a while. Okay. There's your constraints. Monitor schedule name equals. Looks, there was no execution, so it's scheduled. Okay, guys. Then remember to do this whenever there's an execution going. 
and then after that you can get your violations like last time negative one for the last one those are just suggested okay guys and don't don't forget you need to delete your monitoring schedule before you can delete the endpoint and also remember this is not full production you need SageMaker pipelines last step as well as probably better than default model monitor Amazon clarify throughout the whole process that's why they call it full production this is not full production you just deployed a model put a model default monitor you need a pipeline and Amazon clarify throughout for better bias metrics. Okay.